頑張ってください、はい、ありがとうございます What's up, everybody? It's Eon here with another update on the upcoming new Kojima game. The following information comes from Nordic Games 2016, which Kojima attended to participate in an on stage interview that was streamed live a couple of hours ago. During the interview, Kojima revealed some hints and bits of information regarding the new Kojima Productions and its upcoming title. So here's a roundup of all that information. The interviewer, Thomas Puha from Remedy Games, began by sharing some basic information, like how the new Kojima Productions started on December 16th, 2015, and how Kojima is working with Sony on a brand new title. Thomas specifically mentioned that the game was for PlayStation 4, which is actually something that has yet to be officially confirmed. All we know officially is that Kojima's new game will be exclusive to PlayStation platforms. But like many of you, I think it's fairly obvious that Kojima's game will be a PlayStation 4 title. And Thomas's statement only serves to further confirm that. And、uh, they're working,、uh, Kojima san is working、uh, with Sony Computer、uh, Entertainment or Sony Interactive actually. Uh, on his first uh, PlayStation、uh, 4 game. Moving on, Thomas asked Kojima about Ludens, the Kojima Productions mascot that was fully unveiled recently. When asked about the thought process behind the character, Kojima stated that it's a way to indicate the direction that Kojima Productions is headed towards. It was noted how Ludens is equipped with the most advanced technology and how its physical appearance is meant to show the intention of adventuring with a pioneering spirit and entering a world you never saw or played before. Ludens is meant to encompass all that. Kojima also talked a bit about the extravehicular activity creative suit, aka the EVA creative suit. Now, I've had a few people in the comments say that it's not EVA suit, but rather EVA suit, but I would like to point out that Kojima himself said EVA suit during the interview, so that's how it shall be pronounced henceforth. As I've mentioned before, I get the feeling that Kojima was very deliberate in calling the spacesuit the EVA creative suit. While the term extravehicular activity and the acronym EVA are real life terminologies for any activity performed outside a spacecraft that's in space, in our real world, spacesuits are just called spacesuits. The name EVA Creative Suits was completely made up using real life concepts and terms, so I get the feeling that there's more to the suit's name than just indicating that it's intended for extravehicular activities. I think the acronym EVA also indicates that Kojima's new game will feature religious themes and symbolism. I've also learned throughout the years that in any story, for every Eva, there's an Adam. So, assuming that Ludens and his Eva suit will be in Kojima's new game, I get the feeling that we will also see an Adam suit. But it's all speculation on my part, so don't quote me on this. Something else that Kojima shared about Ludens is that he does not take up any war type of arms, despite being meant to look like a medieval knight, and that he wears the suit because of, quote, difficulties in something. I couldn't quite make out what the translator was saying. So this one doesn't equip any、uh, war type of、uh, arms, but it、uh, looks like、uh, a little bit of the medieval uh, Elas uh, uh, knight type of. So, but、uh, there could be、uh, a lot of difficulties in the in p o r t so it is equipped with this suit. So, it looks like Kojima might be hinting that Ludens may not use weapons after all, wearing the EVA suit less for combat and more for protection. Hmm, interesting. Especially when you consider that Kojima has confirmed his new game falls under the action genre, but then again, nobody has really confirmed that Ludens will be a playable character, so who knows? Still too early to say for sure. Anyway, moving on, Thomas asked Kojima about the mission statement that's on the Kojima Productions website and the meaning behind it, to which Kojima replied that the basic message is that we once evolved from monkeys to become Homo sapiens, and that now we are evolving further as we play to become Homo ludens, something along those lines. I get the feeling that evolution isn't just a big part of Kojima's mission statement, but will also play a major role in the plot and themes of the new game. We already have the possibility of religion being a major player with the EVA suit, so who's to say that themes of evolution won't be the other side of that coin? Next, Kojima was asked if it's scary to go indie with his new development studio, to which Kojima replied that he feels like he did 30 years ago when he first got into game development, when he had to put together resources and a team. He then jokingly stated that the difference now is that because he's indie, he doesn't have to go to business meetings. But essentially, now that he's had 30 years of experience, it feels as though he's quite happy with going indie now that he's more free than ever. 
The topic then shifted back to Kojima's upcoming new game, as Thomas asked how big it will end up being, and as a result, how long it'll take to complete. Kojima replied that his intention is to make a big game with a small team. He had initially thought about making a smaller game, but after talking to some of his acquaintances, who all basically told him that people expect a big title from him, Kojima changed his mind and went for something big. As for when he expects the game to come out, he said that he can't say at this moment, and that his goal is to get the game out as soon as possible, but also warned that the new game will take a little time to develop. But the good news is that Kojima will be opting for a third-party engine to speed the process up. When asked by Thomas whether he'd be using internal tools or seeking out third-party tools, Kojima stated that while he thought internal tools are better for making games, because he knows that people are patiently waiting for his new title, this time he decided to use a third-party engine. Kojima also added that this is part of the reason for why he's been traveling so much around the world lately. He's been looking for such third-party technologies that he could employ in his new title. Last time he was asked this question a few months back, Kojima was still thinking about whether he would make his own engine or use third-party tools. It looks like he's finally made up his mind, and I for one am very pleased with this decision. This means we will most likely get this game faster than originally intended. But it looks like he still hasn't decided on exactly which engine he intends to use. My guess is that he'll use one of the engines from Sony's development studios, but at this point, your guess is as good as mine. As far as new information on the new Kojima Productions and Kojima's upcoming game go, this is all that was revealed during the Nordic Games 2016 interview. The other questions that Thomas asked were more about Kojima's views on certain gaming trends, as well as some miscellaneous information that I won't be talking about in this video. But if you're curious about Kojima's replies to these types of questions, be sure to check out the full interview, which you can find on the Nordic Games YouTube channel. But as far as Kojima's new studio and game goes, I've covered everything, so with that, I would like to end this news update. Thank you for tuning in. Let us know in the comments below your thoughts about the information revealed in Nordic Games 2016. And to be further updated on gaming news, stay tuned right here on Yongye. I'll see you guys next time. Yongye! out.